is a Simplicity Champion 2006 with 20 horse Kohler on it. I got it as part of a three tractor deal, uh, one tractor for parts that I sold right away. Second tractor was an Alice Chalmers 806, 804, 806. Pretty little tractor, nice and clean. Sold that about a week later. And I'm using this, this uh, zero turn model as my winter project. Well, winter, spring, summer, fall project. Been working on it for a while. I've been uh, trying to troubleshoot what's going on. But today we're going to look at something that uh, should be an easy fix. The seat. The seat has become, separ has become separated from the base. And it looks like uh, we can do an easy fix with some Gorilla Glue and some bungee straps. So let's uh, get started and see how it will work. Um, the plan is to put the glue on, put the bungee straps on, let it sit overnight, and see if it holds. As you can see, the seat is fairly torn apart and separated from the back of the uh, the backrest. The seat is also torn off the bottom, separated from the bottom. So we'll try what we're going to do today is try to fix that seat. You can see that both sides are separated from the top and the bottom. There's uh, something holding it in the middle. We'll investigate that. But for the most part, we're going to use some Gorilla Glue, a little bit of uh, strapping, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Like I said, we're going to use some Gorilla Glue and hopefully that'll work. It's supposed to bond anything plastic or metal or plastic and metal together. Normal uh, Gorilla glue, glue you can find anywhere at the uh, your local big box store or at your hardware store. This was about $18, but it gives me um, $18 fluid ounces, so a dollar an ounce. So let's see how it goes. I think we'll start with the bottom, try to get the bottom sealed, and then put pressure on the top and bottom to, to hold it tight. And then we'll get um, some bungee straps or some ratchet straps underneath the, uh, the seat to hold it tight, secure to the, uh, to the base. Going to lift the base up and see what we have here. It's actually pretty tight. Um, maybe a bolt in the back. It's going to be a pretty tight spring on here once we do get the glue in, so to make sure we work fast. Now it looks like this is going to set up in about 45 to 50 minutes. We use a foam brush to brush it on as well. Once I get it out around the base. Yeah, let's continue building this up. Well, as you can see, the bottom uh, would not stay tight with just bungee cords. So what I've done is took a couple of ratchet straps, do a little more glue along the edges and see if that'll work. And now we'll go ahead and start the back. Quite a bit on these rear splines just because it's running down to the bottom and hopefully catching the uh, bottom seat as well. But I'm just trying to get enough on here to 
make sure we don't lose the uh, adhesion from the Gorilla Grip to the seat back. Well, as you can see, I compromised a little bit. I went with uh, ratchet straps, two on the bottom, two on the back, plus on the back a couple of uh, clamps, quick clamps uh, that I had in the garage. Um, make do what you can, I guess. Water leakage in back of the seat. So once I get this done and the grill glue sets in place, I'll take a uh, tube of silicone sealant and go around the edges just to make it a little bit more waterproof than it is. Of course with the hole in the bottom it's not going to make much difference but um, hopefully that will drain out.